I'm usually not a big fan of taxis. You know, they have their place, but I didn't want to mess around with train, train, and walk, you know, a kilometer or so in the rain. So I jumped a taxi, and these black taxis are fabulous. The drivers wear uniforms, and they're super professional. I was so happy uh, that I made that decision just to experience, like, that level of professionalism from taxi drivers. Um, you know, it's something I thought was didn't exist in the world anymore. Well, I'm in the uh, elevator. Check-ins on the uh, 40th floor, and they really like mug you at the in a good way at the at the uh, taxi. I took a taxi over instead of train, train, walk. So um, pretty interesting. I don't know. They just like two guys are just grabbing the bag as fast as they can. They want to get you on your way. Okay, well that's a pretty spectacular view. You step out of the elevator and you're greeted with this. Pretty phenomenal view. Looks like three floors down. Good seating area. Check out the river. Check that out. So we're on this little island in the middle of two rivers or two channels. Pretty spectacular. This place is very top shelf. Oh yeah, look at that view there. Super. Just super. And I'm hoping I got a uh, south facing room. Hopefully, I'll get a sunrise out of this. Look at this. This is. Can't even get it in the camera. Pretty fabulous. Nice. Look how happy I am when I'm leaving. So why am I so happy? It all started at the door of the taxi. When the taxi came to a stop, there's a gentleman at the door and I'm getting out. And, you know, as soon as I get out, I start to make, you know, reach in my pocket to make change for the taxi. He's in there grabbing my backpack, making sure I didn't leave a cell phone or anything, double checking that and telling me he's double checking it, which is very courteous of him. And then at the trunk, another gentleman's grabbing the bag out of the trunk. The bag stops for a second while they figure out I'm actually going to the hotel and I'm in the elevator going to the hotel, the bag is gone and I see the bag in my room before I get there. Um, I get to the front desk here, I walk up, hand in my passport, oh sir you're a member, let me get you up to the executive lounge. I get up to the executive lounge, oh sir please come have a seat, can I get you a coffee or anything to drink? And then you know they come over with the paperwork. They orientate me to the hotel, all the amenities available, and um, you know do the paperwork that's necessary, obviously. And then, you know, I'm off to my room. But the whole check-in process, the whole thing, was done by people not telling me how great they are, not telling me how good they are, by people demonstrating they wanted to be the best. They wanted to make this hotel experience the best I've ever had, and. To date, I'd probably say it is, um, but it was just that attitude that I want you to have the best experience. I don't want to smother you. I don't want to, you know, pander to you. I just want you to have the best experience ever. It, I really, in all my stays, even to, to today's date, you know, a few months later, this is still the most unique and most uh, memorable which is funny to say about a check-in process at a hotel, right? I mean, just think about that. Okay, can, on with the video. <laughs> That's funny, the uh, wide angle gives the hallway a crazy effect. But I'm here in 3433, three, three. one of the lower rooms here at the Conrad Osaka. So when I walked in, the blinds were closed and they opened up right as I walked in. Very dramatic. Nice closet here. Check that out. My bag was dropped off. Got the umbrella. 
I believe these are slippers. Let's open one up over here. They definitely fit. And it's almost not quite memory foam, but pretty close. Yeah, very nice. And let's look in here. So I think we got some lights. There's a light. There we go. Look at that. And so, well, got the tub. Look at this tub. So there's your commode. So that's a little soak tub and then a shower. Got the rainfall and the wand and the upgraded soaps. Pretty spectacular. Let's go out this door. Ah, surprise. So here's the room. A couple little trinkets. I think this is a rubber, yeah, hard rubber. Little bear. That's interesting. A key inside the duck. I wonder what that's all about. Uh, and then check out this view. It's pretty spectacular. Right down on the river, waterway, whatever it is. Um, and the funny thing is, I was sitting in the executive lounge for quite a while, just chilling and it's like every building around here has a helicopter. So this Conrad original crackers filled with various flavors, including cheese, pepper, honey, and signature tea. So some crackers. Uh, nice sitting area. So this is the upgrade room. I booked a basic room and I don't know if they call this a corner suite or what, but uh, she was very clear that they upgraded me. So this is my 100th night with Hilton. And I booked this room for free. Japan quality mineral water. Got the nice tea set back here. Or that's a maybe a sake set. And some coffees, some teas. Oolong. Oolong it seems very popular around here. There's your tea set. Oh, very nice. Oh, very, very nice. That's the room. I'm kind of tired. Um, small change can bring big change. Well, this is really cool. I like this. 40 orphanage in Osaka. I'm able to, that's a pretty cool little. Very much like that. I was told I must go check out the pool or they have free swimsuit rentals, even though I brought a swimsuit. So I may do that tomorrow morning. Pool opens at six, but I do like this. The way they use the space here is really lovely. And uh, having a, a separate little changing area is also very nice. So that's the room and it's rainy, 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 rainy. So I planned on doing a couple of little adventures this afternoon, this evening. I may get them done in the morning. I'm not sure. Uh, I may just crawl up in that tub and hang out. But it's funny, this side, I don't see as many heliports. I see a couple out there, but, well, now I'm starting to see them. But the other side, every building you look down on has a heliport. Maybe I'll get a picture of that. Um, but yeah, loyalty has its perks, and... This is my little reward for the year. Uh, like I said, it's a hundredth night and I hit the spending criteria and I happened to be in the right place at the right time. And so I got this room. Uh, pretty fabulous. It's an, 
enough space for three or four people to Pretty fabulous. And if I remember right, I am facing south. So with any luck, I'll get sunrise at 6.30. I love how the little, you're probably not seeing it. Maybe you can, but there's a little like whiffs of clouds floating below the blanket, kind of adding texture to the mountains. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what else to show you. It's the longest room walk through. Uh... Okay, I'm bored. I'll bet you're way bored if you're still watching, so take care. Now that is what every elevator needs in the world, a drink holder. Just loving my time here. Had a little evening snack in the executive lounge here. Quite the spectacular view and quite the tasty treats. Really love that place. So this is my uh, second plate. And a little embarrassed to say that out loud, but I've never had this before. This is cod roe, and it is phenomenal. I tried most of the new stuff in the last plate. Um, I thought this dish was so cute, the way it sits. And I'm not sure what's with the egg, but check out what's hiding under here. Oh, that food is so good. Oh, it's so, so good. You have no idea. And then, of course, you get the view. Yeah, look how creamy and dark that yolk is. It's totally different than a store-bought yolk in America. It's just this dark orange color. So tasty, too. You can really taste the difference. Well, I missed sunrise, but presumably it would have been right over that mountain. Had to run a few errands and eat breakfast. Uh, but it's a beautiful view out there. Let me flip the camera around. So... Just walked over by that building. There's a Starbucks right there in that second building on that block. Uh, and there's a 7-Eleven on that corner on the right. Kind of handy little information, but standing down there, it's so amazing to look around and all the beautiful buildings. This building right here is just gorgeous when you're down there at street level looking at it. Uh, everything around here. I mean, look at the pillars on that building there. Just magnificent. Um, I definitely want to come back and spend more time in Osaka. I definitely can't afford this hotel, but maybe for one night for a birthday or something. Um, this is definitely a special event type place. Um, just to give you context, I stayed in a fabulous hotel in Hiroshima, and I can spend two nights there or one night here, uh, price-wise, and then um, give you a little more context. I could spend a week, almost a week, in some of the other places I've been for what we're, we're, for what one room, one night here costs, and that's not this room. This room is. Uh, as I was reminded a few times, it's a significant upgrade. I got my stuff all over, ready to pack up and get out of here. So that's my plan today is pack up, get ready for the uh, flight and get out of here. I love shooting these spinners and this is that corner we were looking down on. You can see uh, the hotels right there, those top black floors. It's just a beautiful building right here. Um, yeah, I love this place. I'm, I'm in love. I want to go back. <laughs> a 
And I gotta tell you, this burger is phenomenal. You bite into it, it is so light, airy, and rich with beef flavor. You don't want any of that other stuff. I had to take the bacon off. Look, there's the bacon. That's so. But I don't need the bacon with my burger because this is a, such a damn good burger. It's all about the beef. All about the beef. I think it's the Wagyu beef that makes a difference. So yesterday I was lamenting the fact that a uh, dessert I picked up had gold leaf on it and I was going to actually eat gold leaf and it, it was troubling me because gold is valuable and gold is precious and here I am eating gold leaf. Well today, that was yesterday, yesterday morning, today I ordered this cocktail, it's called a Black Hall. And on the menu, it looks fabulous. It's got uh, vodka, blueberry liquor, and some other things. But that is gold leaf, gold dust, and silver leaf on the cocktail. It goes against every good reason in my whatever existence to eat gold or silver. Evidently, silver's got some positive health benefits, but it just kind of cracks me up. Uh, the things you do when you're in places you're not used to seem so foreign and so abstract to your everyday life. I need to rework that uh, thought into be some better verbology, but life is pretty damn good today. Tomorrow it may suck. Day after it may be even worse. But today, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's, that's right on par with that espresso martini I had in Corfu. Probably the best cocktail two best cocktails I've had in years. Espresso Martini and Corfu in this black hall here. Let me double check that. Yeah, that is strong and sweet and flavorful. So that is a total sipper, but probably three of those in a night and I'd be good. I'd be done and good.